hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our next js crud application so now guys in this video we'll be seeing how to delete the data from the database using laravel api okay so let's move to the code so yep this is my student folder inside that student we have an index.view file and inside this index.view file we have a html table and inside that HTML table, we have a delete button. So inside this delete button, we are going to create one click event. So at click where we'll tell delete student function. And inside this function, I want to pass a event and then the student ID. So you can just copy this student.id and send it here done guys so we'll be getting that event on this of this click and the student id too so now guys you can just copy this and get below at the script tag so here is a script tag and then we go inside the methods and inside this method we create a delete student function what we have created at on the click of the delete button so now guys first step we get the event and then the student id are simple so we'll be confirming and deleting the record so for that you can just use this javascript function okay so inside this confirm function add are you sure you want to delete this data okay so if it is yes then you write the inside code for the delete okay so let's type it axios dot delete method and then get the response a response arrow function and open and close curly brace so here you pass the api so what is my api in the laravel let me show you go to my api dot php and here is the method let's move back so let's paste it and we need a complete url so let me just copy from the top so this is my complete url forward slash students then the id so just add a dollar symbol here so it will be editable and now you can copy the student id and send here and make sure guys this is a tilde symbol okay in the end and in the beginning so when we are clicking on this delete it should show it's deleting so for that you can add a event dot target dot inner text inner text equals to where you will be telling deleting so once deleted you can mention as delete and then again you can just call the data get students function okay so this is nothing but the above function to get the students list as simple now you can save it and just run the code yep let's move refresh here let me add one data dummy data dummy let me copy this dummy course dummy email dummy phone number let's click on save okay email id mismatch let me add the correct email and let's save okay phone number also 10 digit we require it so i have added student created successfully and go back so here we find that correct dummy details and now let's click on delete are you sure first i'm going to cancel so it, nothing happens and now if i click ok then let's see okay it's loaded done guys so guys we have seen that how to delete the data from the database using laravel api in Next.js application okay so guys in this video that's it let's get started with new topic in the next videos so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share